Using the opposite shoulder to stabilise at all. Your upper body's nice and relaxed. And then five circles the other way. You can keep the circle really small if you're finding it hard work. You don't want to lift the leg too high anyway. And then after five in each direction, you can lengthen and lower. We're going to move on now to the grasshopper, which is a much more challenging exercise. Um, if you found the last one, star circles, quite difficult, then stick with that one. Right, otherwise, with the grasshopper, we're actually going to lift both legs. So take a wide breath in again, breathe out and zip, and lengthen and lift both legs. They're still turned out. And then you're going to beat your heels together for a count of five as you breathe in. So two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four. Four, five in two three four five out two three four five and then lengthen and lower back down you haven't stopped you keep going you're obviously enjoying that one <laughs> okay so with that one you want to make sure you're really lengthening away and make sure your lower abdominals stay engaged to support your low back and from there you're going to come up into four point kneeling hands directly beneath your shoulders knees beneath your hips pelvis and spine in a neutral position neck nice and long and then bring your feet together leave your knees apart and slowly lower yourself back down and once again if you've got a knee injury avoid this exercise or put a cushion underneath your knees rest your forehead onto the mat stretching out and take a few wide breaths into your back and side enjoy the stretch it really opens out the low back here and then on the out breath to do a zip and then bone by bone bring your pubic bone forward as you roll back up through the spine opening out the chest you're in there somewhere to come and sit up tall as part of his full mat program joseph pilates created a whole series of exercises lying on your side called the side kick series we're now going to show you an exercise from that series called front and back you need to lie on your side, stacking up all your joints, one on top of the other. So foot over foot, ankle over ankle, knee over knee, hip over hip, shoulder over shoulder. And if you can, come up to rest your head on your elbow. If this is uncomfortable, you can take your head down or maybe put a cushion here just to fill the gap between your ear and your arm. When you're lying in a straight line, now bring both legs forward about 45 degrees. That gives you a bit more stability. And you're gonna have your front hand, your top hand, in front of you here for extra support. Throughout the whole exercise, you're gonna be zipping up and hollowing. And you also make sure that you're really lengthening and lifting through your waist. And I also want you to think about being really long in the body. Take a breath in as you breathe out. You're zipping, you're going to bring your top leg up to hip height and then bring it in front of you, hinging from the hip. And then you're going to take it behind you on the out breath. And as you do so, remember how we were taking the leg behind before, the hip into extension. Don't allow the pelvis to roll or move back. Keep the pelvis quite still. And then you're going to breathe in and bring the leg in front of you and breathe out, still zipping, take the leg behind. The movement doesn't have to be very big, make sure your leg moves in a line with your hip. When you're used to this movement, as you bring the leg forward on the in-breath, you can flex the foot. Breathing out, point the foot and take it behind. Your upper body stays completely still. Keep zipping, flex the foot in front if you can, point the toe as you take the leg back. No movement in the upper body at all. Think long in the body, We're going to do about six on each side. So let me go back one more to do on this side. Before you relax. And then we'll move over to the other side. So side line, front and back, on the other side. Make sure you're lying in a straight line, then bring your legs forward to a 45 degree angle, hinging from the hip. The pelvis stays in neutral here. This hand rests in front to support your upper body, which stays quite still. Lift the top leg up, zipping and hollowing throughout till it's at hip height. And then on the in-breath, you're going to bring it forward, hinging from the hip, and on the out-breath, pushing it away and behind you without allowing the pelvis to roll forward. 
Breathe in as the leg comes forward and you can add a flex and breathe out and point and take the leg back. We can do this six times. Breathing in as the leg comes forward, zipping throughout, out as the leg comes back. Upper body stays still. Being very careful not to allow the pelvis to roll back and forth. The leg stays in line with your hip. And think long with the legs and think once again of length throughout the whole body before you finally relax. We're going to finish the second workout with a standing arm weight series. You want to be holding weights of about one pound each weight. So just think about how you're standing. You want your feet hip width apart and parallel. Remember those three points, base of the big toe, base of the small toe and the center of the heel. Soften the knees, check that your pelvis is in neutral, long waist, shoulder blades down, and imagine someone's got hold of you from the top of your head and is pulling you upwards. Take a wide breath in to prepare, breathe out, stay zipped, throughout the exercises, just breathing normally. You're going to slowly curl your arms up towards your chest, keeping your elbows tucked in to work the biceps. And then you're going to take your hands behind you, shoulder blades down, make sure you don't go forward or back. Coming back to where we started and gently curl the weights up towards your shoulders and back down again, turn the palms around and push back through, shoulder blades down, neck released couple times more, curling up and slowly turn the weights and push back through. Knees soft, keep lengthening up through the top of your head, breathing normally and gently zipping. Now we're going to take the arms up to the side, so keeping this part of your shoulders nice and relaxed, slowly lift the arms. When you've got them to shoulder height, turn the palms uppermost and then we're going to curl in towards your shoulders once again, working the top of the arms. And turn back down and slowly lower. And once again, keeping the upper shoulders relaxed, shoulder blades dropping down, lift the arms to shoulder height, reaching through the hands. Turn the palms up, keeping the shoulder blades down, and bring your hands in to touch your shoulders. And opening, turning, and coming back down again. Turn the palms to face backwards now, and we're going to bring one arm up beside your ear, and then slowly reversed. Still zipping, still breathing wide and full. Flowing movements. Keep lengthening up through the spine. Make sure that you're not jarring into your spine. Bit of like a backstroke swimming movement. And slowly lower. And we're going to finish with the roll down. So just gently bend the knees, breathe in wide and full, lengthen through the spine. As you breathe out, zip up and hollow, drop your chin on your chest, and slowly roll forward. Breathe in at the bottom, as you breathe out, still zipping, drop your tailbone back, bring your pubic bone forward and unfurl. Restacking the vertebra bone by bone to come up tall. Wide breath in to prepare, out to zip, drop your chin onto your chest, knees soft. And slowly rolling forward. Make sure you stay central. Take an extra breath if you need to. Just relax down there for a moment. And then on your next out breath, still zipping, bone by bone. Rebuild the spine. Keeping the shoulders relaxed right till the last moment when you drop them down into your back to come up tall. For more information on body control Pilates, teachers, products and services, visit www.bodycontrol.co.uk or write to Body Control Pilates, PO Box 29061, London, WC 2H 
9TB.